Hey fam, it's Tam. And Nate. And today we are making Cheesecake Factory's Miso Salmon. This is a copycat recipe. Um, this is one of my favorite dishes. It's miso uh, marinated salmon with a sake butter sauce. Stay tuned. All right, guys, I wasn't gonna do this part, but I'm gonna do this part. I'm gonna do a video of mm. her eating it because, how is it? It's so good. It's so good. Okay, now for our miso salmon. We already prepped the ingredients to marinate our salmon in. We have two tablespoons of soy sauce, two tablespoons of hot water, one fourth cup of brown sugar, and two tablespoons of miso. So you just mix that together. So we have our miso marinade ready to go on our salmon. Basically you just wanna marinate and brush it on there. You want it on there a little bit heavy. So once it broils, it'll have that really good char on there. All right, so we're gonna put this on low broil for about 10 to 15 minutes. Just keep an eye on it, depending on the size of your fillets. Okay, so next, as our fish is broiling, we're gonna make a really good sake butter sauce. So right now we have a small saucepan on medium to high heat. We're gonna go ahead and add one tablespoon of butter. We have about a tablespoon of minced shallots. And two tablespoons of Julian ginger, fresh ginger. Okay. Now you want to have the onions and ginger sweat so we can get all those juices out. So it's gonna be about two to three minutes. Okay, so we have our shallots and ginger. We cut those sweat just to get those nice flavors out for about two to three minutes. Now next, we're gonna add sake to the onions and ginger. So it calls for half a cup of sake. All right, and we're gonna bring that to a boil, right? Yep, so maybe the next three minutes. So now that we have our sake reduced about two thirds of the way, the next step is we're gonna add two tablespoons of heavy cream. Now we want to also bring that to a boil and reduce it by half. Next is we're gonna add one stick of butter. Now I have the cold butter chopped up and you just wanna slowly add that to the mixture. And you would need to continue to whisk this. Okay, so once you have all the butter, one stick of butter in there and as you're adding it and whisking it at the same time, it would start to emulsify. Now once it starts to thicken, you're gonna take it off the heat. So let's turn this boy off. Take it off the heat. Mm, it smells so good. Continue to whisk. Next, we're just gonna add another splash of sake. For the hell of it. There you go. We're gonna add a little bit of salt. And then a fresh lime. And that is our sake butter sauce. Okay, so with our miso salmon and sake butter sauce, we're gonna add some rice. So just it's for plating purposes. You gotta make it pretty. I gotta make it pretty, right? So this is just regular um, white rice. Before we put that down, we're gonna take, go ahead and take our sake butter sauce and then pour that over the plate. To cover the bottom. 
Okay, then we're gonna go ahead and add our rice to the middle of the plate. Okay, how pretty that is. Now our salmon's ready. We broiled it for about 15 minutes just because it's a large cut of salmon. So we're gonna add that to our plate. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and cut us a piece of this salmon off of here. And go ahead and put it on the bed of rice. Okay, so with the leftover miso um, marinade, we're just gonna use some of this to just drizzle all over the plate. Okay. And there you have it, the copycat recipe for Cheesecake Factory's miso salmon. All right, guys, please like this video, subscribe to okay. our channel. To our channel, yes, don't forget, it is free. It's free. Yes. All right, and we are out of here.